Good morning, we're on day eight of the month of prayer um, and I get to go through um, Romans chapter four, verses one to 25. It's really big. There's so much in there that we could do probably a year's worth of sermons on, but I've got two minutes. So um, first thing, um, just the line in verse three, where it says, um, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Um, just struck me yet again about how amazing grace is that actually he didn't earn his righteousness. It doesn't say that anywhere. And actually it goes on to say about actually when you work, you earn a wage, but you don't get credited a wage. Um, but when you have faith, you don't earn your faith. Your, sorry, you don't earn your righteousness. You just get credited the righteousness um, because of your faith. Um, so it's just it's just another amazing uh, struggle of my mind <laughs> to try and figure out how I live in that way that reminds me that I'm not earning my way to righteousness, that righteousness will be credited to me um, because there is no earning it because I could never be righteous. It's only through Jesus' grace that I can become, um, you know, blameless in his sight. So that was the first thing. Second thing is that um, in, 18, in verse 18, Abraham is looking at his situation. Um, he's been promised by God that he's going to be the father of all nations. And he's looking at himself and his very old wife thinking, I don't think so. Well, how I don't know how he could do this because, look, we're basically dead. How are you going to make us have children? Um, but it says in verse 18, against all hope, so against all the facts of the circumstance, Abraham in hope, funny use of the word hope twice because one's negative, one's positive. Um, but Abraham, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of all nations. So it's, it's his hope in God's promises that he looks at, which um, brings him through from looking at himself and his circumstances and how dire they are um, to actually having hope in God and God fulfilling all of his promises. Um, I think that the way that we can look at this today is, A, we can think actually Abraham didn't even have the Holy Spirit, so he was just doing that, you know, through knowledge of the scriptures and things like that, um, and his faith, obviously. But we have the Holy Spirit, so when we find that we're facing circumstances that are really hard and we feel like there's promises God's given us, or we just read the promises in the Bible and we think, well, it's not happening, or I don't see how we could possibly turn this situation around. We have the gift of the Holy Spirit who can actually say, you know, we can ask the Holy Spirit, please, can you give me hope? And we will be given hope. Um, so where you find yourself in unbelief, we can ask Jesus to help us, and the Holy Spirit will come and help us in our unbelief. So just be encouraged that, you know, if you look through the Bible and the Old Testament, there are so many situations that seemed completely, you know, um, irrecoverable, is that a word? Um, but God recovers them and God redeems them. Um, so there's no reason why you can't do that in your situation as well. So just be encouraged that A, you are saved because of his grace, and B, you have all hope in him. Okay, thanks.